Good morning, Dr. Eric Klajinski here, Fanwood Back Relief Center. Today in this health update, we're gonna talk about the difficulty in managing carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a complex condition that can be challenging to manage for several reasons. First of all, there could be a lot of multiple contributing causes. It's seldom that carpal tunnel syndrome is a result of one direct trauma, unless there's an accident where you fall and break your wrist, and then there's compression or inflammation in the tunnel itself causing direct pressure on the median nerve. More commonly, it's more of a gradual process of repetitive stress on the area, repetitive smaller injuries, micro traumas that add up over time, cause inflammation in the tunnel and affect the, the, the tissues, uh, the soft tissues of the wrist, uh, the tendons, the ligaments, and affecting the nerve, ultimately the carpal tunnel that supplies uh, the, the nerve supply. Uh, but there's also other factors as well. Um, to complicate it even further, uh, conditions like hypothyroidism, pregnancy, obesity, all have um, uh, effects on the carpal tunnel uh, indirectly as well uh, through swelling and inflammation in the body. Another factor is median nerve entrapment um, can be elsewhere in the body. In other words, the median nerve uh, runs up, the, up to the wrist here, but it branches up into the shoulder and into the neck um, and descends down, obviously, through the brachial plexus here. Um, what happens is, is if there's a, a misalignment in the neck, um, there's inflammation, a strain, a sprain, uh, where those tendons get inflamed in the neck, it can cause referral of symptoms down into the hand. It can be caused by um, uh, a tendon, a muscle, or, or even a disc that's herniated or bulging, uh, irritating some of that nerve tissue. Same thing can happen in the brachial plexus, in the shoulder, or even in the elbow. So there's a lot of different places that, um, that can kind of mimic carpal tunnel syndrome or or there can be conditions where it's irritated in multiple areas at the same time, which makes it very complicated and confusing. Um, another factor is there's nerves not only um, um, on this side of the hand, but there's nerves on this side of the hand. You have your radial nerves and your ulnar nerves, and sometimes these problems can coexist where there's irritation on the ulnar or radial nerve in addition to the median nerve uh, because of the state of the inflammation in that small tunnel. That, that can complicate it as well. Um, work can be the cause, um, work or even hobbies. Uh, maybe you're using your hands a lot to type, maybe you're playing the guitar, and these issues, you know, uh, unless you completely stop what you're doing work-wise, um, the use of the hands uh, repetitively, um, then, then it's constantly gonna be an uphill battle um, in making and getting that inflammation down and helping with the healing process. Some other factors can be controlled. For example, females are three times more susceptible to developing carpal tunnel. Um, a lot of the research suspects because they have a narrow, more narrow uh, tunnel there, so there's less room for the, the nerves and tendons to pass through. Also, hormonal changes in females can also affect um, the, the wrist as well, uh, indirectly. Um, you know, another factor too is that um, a lot of times when patients start to develop this, um, it comes on gradually, so they may ignore it for a period of time. Maybe it just comes intermittently or it's not intense. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes in my office, patients come in when it's really, really bad. Uh, the longer you wait, the more difficult and the more, in my opinion, the evasive the procedures become like um, injections and surgery. Uh, the key to all of this is to catch it early. Uh, chiropractic, physical therapy, uh, acupuncture, these are all natural ways of uh, addressing some of these symptoms. Obviously, changing your daily routine, um, your position, your ergonomics also can help as well and be contributing factors to lessening the symptoms and also uh, preventing it from ha even happening at all. If you're suffering with carpal tunnel, um, whether it's due to something in your neck or in the wrist, uh, give us a call, we'll see if we can help you. Uh, we're able to help a lot of these cases, obviously not everyone. Um, sometimes we need to refer out, depending upon the severity and um, you know, how, obviously how long have you waited and how, how far along progressed it is. Uh, but any, any questions about this or anything else on our website at fanwoodbackrelief.com, give us a call. Uh, I appreciate you listening today. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.